Hey YouTube, Anna here. Um, my beta test results are in. Um, my HCG level was at a 19 for 10 DPO. And my progesterone has not come in yet, but my thyroid was slightly elevated. So they said that they want the thyroid to come in at 2.5 and mine came out in at 2.69. So they put me on a new medication, Synthroid, um, which I take one pill once a day and that, and then check back my thyroid level in a month. So um, I feel, and it's a class A drug for pregnancy, so it's completely safe to take. I've never had a thyroid issue, but I've always had thyroid testing, so it's strange that all of a sudden it's an issue, but oh well, <laughs> I don't care. Um, what else? Symptoms? Still, I last night I was so nauseous, I slept with like five pillows under me and still was feeling like... I was salivating and I was feeling like I was going to throw up and I never did, which is great. <laughs> but it, it kept me up because I just felt so uneasy. And in my previous pregnancies, I have never felt so sick. So I feel like that's a good sign. And 19 for HCG is pretty low, um, but I checked with my husband and he was like, actually, that sounds really good for 10 DPO because you shouldn't have tested for another four days. And so if you have 19, that's, that's pretty good. And so that made me feel a lot better. And, uh, the lady that gave me the news. So now that you know my stats, you can stop watching. But <laughs> if you're interested, the lady that gave me the news was so rude to me. She First of all, when I called her the first time to tell her I got a positive pregnancy test at home, she said, oh, you tested early. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I mean, obviously I'm tested early because I'm telling you that it's preg I'm pregnant. Um, but yes, I did. <laughs> and she's like, oh, you know that you're not supposed to test until... Um, 14 days after and I said well I know but I was feeling symptoms and so I, I tested and she's like okay and so that was the first time that I talked to her second time I talked to her she was like your number is 19 that is extremely low I mean you did test 10 days early and I said well no, I, I didn't test 10 days early. And she was like, oh, I mean, four days early, you tested on 10 days after IUI. And I said, yes, I did. And she said, well, you're going to have to go back for another beta. I mean, that's normal. <laughs> so I don't know why she was making it sound like we would not do this normally, but <laughs> we're going to do it for you because you tested so early. She's like, you have to go back for another beta. You can either do it tomorrow, which would be 48 hours after my first beta, or you could go in on Monday when you should have tested, she said to me. <laughs> and I was like, well, if I go in on Monday, you're probably going to want to take my blood two days after that to check to see if it's rising or if it's doubling, I said to her. And she said, oh, I don't care if it doubles. It just needs to rise by 60%. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so I've already taken my blood yesterday, so I'm just going to go ahead and get my blood taken tomorrow. That way you can see that it's rising at least by 60%. She was like, okay. And then your thyroid, it needs to be 2.5, it's 2.69. So you need to start taking um, the Synthroid, which is, an, uh, there's another name for it. It's like Levothyroxine. Um, so you need to take that and you have to come back in three weeks. And I said, well, I'm actually going to be out of the country in three weeks, um, but I should be back in four weeks. And she was like, oh, well, I guess I have to give you a refill and then you have to get this in like as soon as you get back because we need to check your levels. 
<laughs> and I said, okay, that's not a problem at all. I just um, need to let you know that I won't be getting my blood work done in the three weeks. Um, yeah. <laughs> and so after she was super sour and just very pointed with me, um, I was like, okay, well, I, I'll go get my blood work tomorrow and, and thank you for calling me. And she was like, oh, yeah. Oh, congratulations! And got like super weirdly happy, um, which was really strange and forced because she was treating me like this crazy person for testing so early. And I, I don't know what happened, like maybe her boss walked in or something, but she gave this fake phony congratulations at the end and I just kind of laughed and it took me a while and then I was like, oh, thanks, <laughs> because anything over 5 HCG um, is considered positive and she didn't even say that in the beginning, she just sort of said, it's 19, that's low. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's really annoying. So my husband did all this research online, and I wish I had, maybe I do, I have this um, link that he sent me from Conceive a Baby, I think it's called. Let me look it up. Sorry, guys. Yeah, conceivingconcepts.com. And it has a chart listing normal ranges for 14 DPO on to 24 DPO. So at 14 DPO, my level range, the considerable normal range, is 17 to 119. So that's that was four days away from yesterday, so I was within that normal range, um, which is cool. <laughs> like I think that's pretty amazing, and it made me feel a lot better. There's another site that said, a 10 DPO um, average is 16 and but only like in this chart that it showed me um, it said that only 50 p people women um, reported a positive pregnancy that early so it was a very low number um, yeah so <laughs> so I'm really excited and I think it's all good news um, I did have some brown spotting that happened one time today, um, so that was sort of, like, shocking because I feel like it's already implanted, so I shouldn't have any implantation bleeding, but I felt like, oh no, and then I remembered, like, as long as it's not red and it's heavy, then I should be fine. So. I feel good and I still have cramps and sore breasts and I'm very nauseous <laughs> and I'm taking ginger, um, like candy ginger and then my husband also made like a savory, like a soy sauce and sriracha um, ginger which is just spicy and I, I like it more <laughs> than the candy ginger. So yeah, so that's what I've been doing and then starting my new drugs, which they're pretty small pills, I mean, relative to normal people, <laughs> but I still um, like bite little pieces off, and they're coated so they don't even taste bad or anything, it was fine. Um, yeah, so that's my update, those are my numbers, uh, stay tuned, I will probably get my new numbers on Monday. So keep your fingers crossed. Thank you for all your love and support. It means so much to me. And thank you for all my new subscribers. And follow me on Instagram. I'll be updating definitely throughout the weekend. Um, it is Anna TTC Journey. Same as my YouTube. All right. Love you guys. Bye.